I'm going to present two things to you, they're in the same category, and you have to choose one and explain briefly why. Okay, you would like me to choose I one. Would like I don't you. have to choose one. I would one. like you to, we'll that's true. We'll see what true. happens, that's let's true. go. <laughs> okay. But that's an easy one, isn't it? Humanely raised beef. I, I mean, I'm not a vegan. I believe there's room for animals in the food system. I think we should be eating probably 10% the amount of beef that we're eating now, which is a lot less than we do. But I, like I said, I think there's room for it in the food system. I'd rather ride on a train, okay. but I couldn't live without planes, except I could not live at all without subway trains. So that's an issue. They're not antithetical. Dairy in general is responsible for, let's say, the maltreatment of many hundreds of thousands of animals. But I don't know that almond milk, I like almond milk, but I don't know that it's a smart substitute for dairy milk. It uses a lot of almonds. It doesn't extract a lot of stuff. It throws away a lot of almonds. There's room for both. I'd rather see cows treated better. Uh -huh. I don't know that drinking almond milk is the answer to that. It's a question of frequency. You make, it, you make it hard when you say, oh, it's a good salad, it just happens to be prepackaged. I don't think prepackaged is the end of the world. Then you don't, you know, we don't know whether this is a humanely raised cheeseburger or not. These are really fine points. Again, I think there's room for both of those things in people's kitchens and people's lives. The biggest problem here is that we spend an awful lot of energy and we use an awful lot of land and water on growing corn and soybeans for essentially non-foods. So I think the fundamental question is, what are we growing, what are we doing with it, and what are we eating? Okay. I think that's everything for Versus. Okay. okay. Well, thanks. Thank you for playing.